Hi guys, what's up? So I look like crap and this lighting may not be the best. I am about to try out the Maui Now Tanning Oil. Um, as far as I can tell from the website, you're just meant to put an SPF sun cream on, wait 10 minutes and then you can put your tanning oil on. So I've put my Hawaiian Tropic uh, SPF 30 sun cream on and I'm now going to put the tanning oil on. So it comes in a box like this and you just open it up and you have your bottle and it says it's aloha in a bottle baby and then you've just got the bottle and some paper so i think it's actually a pretty cute packaging um i do really really like the packaging and then the bottle is <clears throat> 100g golden glow tanning oil marry now i got the pink bottle because it says to start off with the pink one and then on the back it just says the original melanin boosting blend of natural oils has been designed to accelerate the tanning process to make your glow trust us it's paradise directions shake well before use apply evenly to any bare parts before uv exposure reapply as necessary then it has a bit that says active ingredients, which I'm not going to read out. Um, I'll just put it in the description. And it says sun safety and warnings. Avoid prolonged exposure to the sun. Always wear a hat, protective clothing and sunglasses. To The use of a very high protection sun cream before applying this oil is recommended. For external use only, avoid contact with the eyes. If rash or irritation occurs, discontinue use. So let's see how this goes. I'm just going to shake it, shake you at the same time. Okay, so it does come with like um, a plastic like sticker lid, um, but it's inside the tube bit rather than on the top of the bottle. So I've just gone in with a pin and broken it and that should work now. I'm so excited to see how this works. It looks like shimmery in the bottle. So I'm just going to put it on my leg. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Wow, that's so shimmery. Okay, I'm going to put this on the rest of my body. Hi guys, what's up? So I have spent an hour lay on my front and, and 50 minutes lay on my back. Um, as far as I am aware, or as far as I know, a natural tan takes at least two hours of not being in the sun to develop, or it can even take two the next morning. Um, I didn't put any... I didn't take any pictures or any clips of my tan before I did the Maui um, so I will have to maybe link some videos in the iCards of what I have looked like before the last five weeks at the beach um, and today before putting on the Maui. So considering that you have to wait two hours to the next morning to wait to see a tan develop, I do want to say I can already see a little bit of a difference using the Maui. Um, the difference I can see is probably like the last five weeks at the beach in the last hour. Uh, this spot has gotten worse because I put some on my face. So I just want to show you quickly... And I will show you another clip in the morning. Um, I am going to put after sun on. I've not burnt. Um, but I always, once I've been to the beach or in the pool or anything like that, I put after sun on just to make sure my skin is hydrated. Um, so I'm going to get in the shower, 
wash and put some after sun on and I'll get back to you in the morning. Okay, so excuse the fact I look a mess. This spot has come out because of the Maui Now. I already had a spot there and I put Maui Now on my face. Oh well. Um, it's the next day. I'm starting to feel like I didn't get that much of a tan. Um, I don't think I'm that much darker than I already was. But I'm also starting to wonder whether I was in a good place to tan. Because normally I just go to the beach. And yesterday I was by the pool at my house which has four walls around it and then it's got like fly net roof now apparently you can get a tan and burn through the fly net roof and I could feel the heat on me but I don't think the UV rays were that hot either or high um, and also the temperature here has gone down lately so I'm starting to wonder whether the UV rays have gone down too either way either this Sunday depending on how on how hot it is or next weekend I will be going to the beach and I will be reusing the Maui to see again if it brings out any tan in it or not. Um, I'm going to insert some pictures of the um, Maui Now Instagram. There's one picture that they said 40 minutes with Maui Now and I was looking at it thinking mm, that looks more like a week on holiday of someone that tans really, really, really easily or like the end of summertime they've been tanning for the whole summer because all of the girls on the Maui Now page are really 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 tanned So I don't know whether I need to build up my base tan or what. So I'm just going to show you my tan lines at the minute. That is what I'm working with. I don't know. I really don't know whether, whether I'm any more tanned. I do think I am at least a little bit more tanned. Um, I just don't know... How much exactly so I am gonna give it another try um, and see how that goes also you don't actually need to use as much as it looks like well obviously like I splattered it on and that um, but then when I looked at the bottle once I've done both my front and my back I've only probably used about that much of the bottle can you see that like that much um, and it was the top part which means it's not even like the full circle part so I'm really, really impressed in how little goes so far. Um, but yeah, so I'll check back in either this Sunday or next weekend. And we'll see how the tan has come along then. Hi guys, what's up? So it is <coughs> Sunday uh, in July, maybe like the 9th or the 10th. Um, I used my Maui now at the beach yesterday and it's the first time that I've managed to use it at the beach properly and I've come to the conclusion that it does work quite well. Um, so in the last testers I had tried it next to the pool where I'm under a net um, roofing and I tried it at the beach but my friend kept pulling me into the water uh, before I'd even had a chance to soak in which was just a waste of oil and I regret it so badly uh, but I spent three hours at the beach yesterday um, I topped up my sun cream twice and I topped up my oil twice um, once when I got there and once when I got out of the sea and and then obviously the second top up was when I got out of the sea again um, and I feel like it's done a really really good job so I'm just going to show you here So I had actually not seen the sun in maybe like three weeks, so my, my tan had basically completely um, faded, so what I've got now is basically just from yesterday. I'm going to go to the beach again today, maybe not for as long, but we will see, and 
I'm going to use my Maui now again. I did burn a little bit yesterday, but I think that's because I didn't let the sun cream sit in long enough before I put the tanning oil on. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with the outcome. I think this is actually a really good product now that I've had a chance to try it out properly. And I think I'll definitely be ordering the Maui Now black bottle uh, for next month. Set up a full cleaning business. We owned a holiday home here from a couple of years earlier than that. And um, there's a lot of the fact that it was here and we had a base to start with, Zoe on the chance comment said, why don't we move to America? And I said, you can't just... Um, I've used up a whole bottle, um, or almost a whole bottle. Um, and I thought I would do a review on it. I'm back to white now because I lose my tan very, very, very easily. Um, and it's been about two, maybe three weeks since I've been to the beach or actually been out in the sun at all, actually. Um, so this is the Maui Now Golden Glow. This is what I've been using. It is a Golden Glow tanning oil. It's from an Australian company and it just basically boosts the um, melanin, I think is how you pronounce it in English, in your body and the natural oils. I think this stuff is amazing. I'm just going to throw that out there now. I'm in love with this stuff. Um, it's cruelty free. I'm pretty sure it's all natural. Um, I will link down below the website so you can have a look at it. So you basically get a little bottle like this, which is um, 100 grams. So mine at the minute is down to about here. So I'll probably get about one more use out of it, or maybe like half a use out of it. Um, and it comes in a box like this. This is actually now the black bottle. But if I just take that out and show you. It comes with the wrapping paper, and it just says, it's a low heart in a bottle, baby. Um, so the first couple of times that I used it, I used it by the pool, I think it was like the first two or three times, um, and I could see a difference but not a major difference and I wasn't that happy, but I put it down to the fact that the pool that is at my house has got four walls around it and netting above it, so it doesn't get sun that much and it, I don't know, I just all in all I didn't feel like it worked that well, although I could see a slight difference. Um, and then I started wearing it to the beach. So I think I went to the beach maybe like three or four, maybe five times in the space of about ten days. And that's how I basically used up the bottle. Um, and I saw such, such, such a difference. I don't know whether I'm going to do Lally or what, but in the video I think you can see the difference too. What you have to do is put on a high protection sun cream. So I've been using um, Hawaiian Tropic in Factor 30. And then you put this over the top about 10 minutes after you put the sun cream on. Um, it's got a shimmer in it, it is really really beautiful so it also adds like a glow whilst you're tanning um, and you can put it on your face. So I'm just going to quickly show you. See that? It's got a really really beautiful glow to it. And it smells so, so, so good. Um, it took about three weeks to get to me from Australia to Spain. So that is it for today's video. Make sure you like and comment. And if you want to stay up to date with my uploads, then subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.